Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we are looking at none other than the AKM. Mmm, AKM. We are chambered in 762 by 39 and take all the AKM magazines. Special video linked in the description of all the magazines. You can see some of them here. That's one of them right there. <laughs> and actually, this is, I think, technically an AKMN because it has a dovetail mount on the side. So we're going to be taking a close look at that. All right, let's get to it. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at the controls. Oh, but first, let's check out the wibbly bit. That's important. All right, controls. Typical AK controls. Ha ha ha, this is an AKM. Of course it's typical AK controls. What are you talking about? Here's our magazine. Well, there's our magazine. Here's our bolt on the right hand side. Bolt handle rather. Pull it back. Oh no, what's going on? Safety's in the way. You got to turn the safety off before you can pull the bolt back. So left click on the controller, on the trackpad rather. Pull the bolt back and now you're ready to go. You're now on automatic. One more click and you go to semi-automatic. So we've got safe, full, and semi. And then back to safe. Down the trackpad will not eject the magazine. Got to pull it out manually. So that's a bummer. It does not lock the bolt back on empty. So you're going to have to do that yourself. Get yourself a new magazine. Pull the bolt back manually. Release. And now you're ready to go. Slow rate of fire on this guy. Can you do tactical reloads with AKM? Of course you can. Here's your little mag release paddle right there so if you hit it with some physics object like another magazine or a spatula it'll knock the magazine out and you can insert a new one spatula might be even easier yeah no problem let's see what attachments will fit what do we have in the way of rails ha 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 uh, yeah that's an akm you've got no rails but you've got a dovetail mount you've got your russian dovetail mount so you can put russian optics on there like that and you can try and take them off. <laughs> you can also put the Russian pick rail adapter on there. Now you've got a center line top rail and a left rail. So you can put your red dot up there. That's nice and nice. You can put your laser on the side if you wish. Put it the other way around if you're weird. You can do that. So you can put a muzzle brake on there. Yeah, you can put a muzzle brake on there. Can you, whoa, can you slide uncontrollably? Yes. Can you put a suppressor on there? Yes, you can put a suppressor on there. Barrel extension will go. Rail adapter will go. Foregrip will not go. <laughs> Let's talk about the all important battle spatula. There you go. Now you are official. You've got the battle spatula. What else can we put on there? And the AK bayonet, will it go on an AK? Surprise! The AK bayonet will go on the AK. And again, grab it by this front ring in order to get that sucker off there. That's how that works. And stock, we've already got a stock. Kind of a small stock to be honest uh what else have we got that's it can you put a dong on it can you get the ak dong foregrip on there yes you can now you got your dong ready to go but can you get your dong off oh, i'm having trouble getting my dong off here what is going on here there we go okay can you put get your sh shark fin on there come on you can do it there we go got your shark fin grip on there there we go that one came off a little easier and rails all important rail adapter come on you can do it there we go <laughs> a stubborn sucker now you've got rails on the bottom and on the right side a little tiny rail on there so get your rails on your ak that way Let's take a look at your front sight and rear sight. Uh, they call those the iron sights. All right. Same as the AK-74, it looks like here, in that it's not good. So that rear notch is pretty shallow cut. The front sight is kind of buried way down there, so it's hard to find. Yeah, these are not good. I'm doing okay with them, but taking my time let's see if they are adjustable yes that rear sight is adjustable all the way out to a thousand meters by the way i'm clicking on this and clicking left and right on the trackpad by the way don't really explain that very often here's our russian mount and our top rail 
And now we get our optic, which is much nicer. That will do pretty nicely. Let's see what it looks like with the Russian one on there. And yeah, not so good. So I got to kind of pick it up over the top of the rifle. And get it going that way. And let's try the PSO scope. See if it pushes this right into my eye socket. Yes, it does. Oh boy. No eye relief whatsoever. All right. There we go. Black eye, who cares? I don't even know where these shots are going. Recoil test. 30 rounds of 7.62 by 39 millimeter. This guy. Here we go. Yeah, now we got recoil. Unlike those 5.56 and 5.45 guns we were shooting earlier, this guy's got recoil, 7.23 average. <laughs> At least we'll notice something now. Let's try the additional muzzle brake on there. Eight average, so slightly better, but not a whole lot. And finally, the suppressor. Eight average as well. So, hmm. Did help. Not a ton, but it did help. I like the uh, grouping a little better on these. There you have it. The AKM. AKA the AK-47. <laughs> that ain't confusing. Till next time, I will see ya. Ooh, look at that kick. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, that's got some kick to it.